On a crisp and chilly evening in October, Mia sat on the couch staring up at a clock that her mom had recently bought. She had always seen these clocks around school and in the office before, but they always confused her. Is everything all right, sweetie? Mia's mom asked. Mia smiled at her mom and shrugged. Everything is okay, mom. I'm just looking at that and trying to figure it out. The clock? Mia's mom asked, and Mia nodded. Her mom took the clock off the wall and took a seat right next to Mia on the couch. What about it confuses you, dear? There's just too much going on. I don't get how you get the time from that. Mia gestures to the numbers, the sticks that move, and the little ticks. Mia's mom points at the big numbers on the clock. These big numbers right here represent the hours of time on the clock when this little shorthand touches them. It also is called the hour hand. Look at my phone and tell me what time it is right now. Five o'clock, Mia says, turning off her mom's phone. Okay, so let's look at the shorthand, also known as the hour hand. See how it is on the five? That means it is five o'clock. We are doing this at a good time right now because it is exactly five. The hour hand is pointing right at the big number. If it was, let's say, 545, the hour hand would be closer to six o'clock, but not touching it exactly. Why do you think that is? Mm, Mia thinks about it. Because it's not six o'clock yet, but it's close? You're right. Okay, now look at the little ticks in between the big numbers. Those represent minutes. So if the long black hand, also known as the minute hand, is on any of these ticks, that it is, then that is a minute. You can count them by fives. It is easier that way. So if the minute hand is on the big two, then it is 510. But if it's on the third tick after one, it's 508. How is that possible, though? Once you get to the 12, it adds up to 60, and there's no 60 in time from what I've learned. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. Okay, Mom. There's 60 minutes in one hour. So once the big hand hits 12, that means time resets, right? And it would be a new hour? You are right. You're so smart, kiddo. Mia's mom says. All right, we're going to practice now. I'm going to move the hands and you're going to tell me the time. Mia's mom turns the clock away from her and fiddles with the bottom of the clock. She then hands it to Mia and Mia looks at it closely. The hour hand is on 11 and the minute hand is on 12. 11 o'clock? Correct. Let's do another one. A bit more difficult. Mia's mom takes the clock and then hands it back to Mia. The hour hand is between 7 and 8, and the minute hand is on the 6. After a little bit to count, Mia says, 7.30. 7.30, her mom repeats. Why do you say that? Well, when adding up the minutes, it comes out to 30, and the minute hand, while it is past 7, isn't directly on the 8. So that means it is still 7 o'clock. 7.30, Mia confidently says. <laughs> right, you're so smart. One more. Mia gets the clock back from her mom. The hour hand is almost on the two, and the minute hand is on the tick right before the ten. After counting, she says, 149. Wow, good work, girly, Mia says, ruffling her hair. You're way too smart. Maybe we need to get you one of these for your room. Can we please? Mia says, draping herself onto her mom and making the both of them laugh.